morning. Are you guys serving lunch yet? Yeah. Um, two iced coffees, two hard-boiled eggs, mixed salad. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. I got to Paris yesterday morning. I walked around for a few hours, went to bed, woke up at three in the morning. Couldn't go back to sleep. And now it's like noon, 12 p.m. And I'm, <laughs> I am so tired. See, this is the thing about traveling to fun um, international places is that for the first few days, you can't even enjoy yourself because you're so tired. But this morning I went to the grocery store to get some, you know, my hotel room essentials. And I bought this fucking almond milk, okay? This almond milk, you don't understand. If I could buy this in the US, it would change my life. This is the most incredible almond milk on the planet. It's called Bjorg Almondi. Oh, it has this like almond croissant flavor undertone and it is just the fucking best thing on the planet. I was thinking that I could go shopping today, but I can't let myself do that because listen to what happened to me. Before I came to Paris, I was in New York. When I was in New York, I did a little bit of shopping. Nothing crazy, just got a few things, but those few things really pushed my suitcase over the edge. My suitcase was overflowing. Um, it took me like 20 minutes to close my suitcase. And so, you know, I shouldn't have went shopping when I was in New York. I thought it would be fine, so I packed my suitcase extremely full. I go to the airport to fly here and I put my suitcase on the scale and it's like 78 pounds. And the lady was like, sorry babe, this is illegal to check. Like it's so heavy that we legally cannot put this on the plane. And I was like, what is a girl to do? So I kid you not, I ran into the bookstore. You know, like how in airports they have the little the little stores. Luckily, they had a suitcase for sale in the bookstore in the airport. It literally still has the tag on it, which proves to you that I bought this in the airport. Anyway, so I'm in the line to check my bag at the airport and I just rip open my suitcase and start throwing shit into that other suitcase. And then I, checked both bags, everything was fine. I hope that that story was exhilarating, but the moral of the story is I'm not letting myself go shopping in Paris because I can't have another situation like that. I've been away from home for quite a while now. Honestly, this whole month I've been away from home. I went on like a two week trip earlier this month. Now I'm on another trip. I'm like weirdly going a little rogue. Like I've barely been home. Like I've always seen other people travel like this where they're always out of town. And I'm always like, ew, that's a lot. And like the thought of living out of a suitcase was always really not appealing to me. But I've been living out of a suitcase for almost the whole month and I'm kind of fucking loving it. I really don't, I'm not homesick at all. If somebody was like, you can never go back to LA, I'd be like, okay. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care. Is this gross? I don't know. It's not gross to me. I love hard boiled eggs. This just does not look good. Like, this looks scary. It tastes so much better than it looks though. I'm in Paris for fashion week. I haven't gone to a fashion show in like two years. So this is my first fashion show in like two years. I actually brought my dad to Paris with me. So my dad's here. Um, yeah, good times all around. I just made this table such a fucking mess. I feel bad. Holy fuck, this 
butter. I, I think, oh, I love butter. I'm fucking freaking out. What the fuck? Have you ever seen fruit this perfect? I've never seen fruit this perfect in my life. I walked into this random corner store. Anyway, they had the most perfect berries I've ever seen. There's not one flawed berry in there, except for that one, but that's because I squished it. Okay, there's not one. I'm gonna eat all of them right now. I don't understand what my obsession is with fruit right now. It's all I talk about. Normally when you buy store-bought blackberries, they suck. These taste like if you were to be walking on like a trail and you just found a blackberry and you picked it off the bush and you ate it. Like this is exactly, I've not had fruit this flavorful in years. Also this white shirt, I've been wearing it for 10 days straight and it's so dirty, but I've been traveling. I don't know how to like wash my clothes. I guess I could go to a laundromat, but I'd kind of rather just wear the dirty shirt. I don't think anyone's gonna notice. Somehow it doesn't smell bad, yet. No! I'm not done. That was good. How are these so good? It tastes like what the fruit's supposed to taste like. So often when you buy fruit from the store, it doesn't taste right. But I eat a lot of fucking fruit and I think I know what fruit is supposed to taste like by now. But like, this is some of the best fruit I've ever had. What a life-changing experience. <coughs> Look how fucking dirty this shirt is. Can you like see like how it's all stained and shit everywhere? I don't mind living like this. This does not bother me. As long as I don't smell bad, I'm fine with the whole thing. Yes, I would prefer to be wearing a clean shirt. But I'm like going a little bit rogue, you know what I mean? I'm going a little bit rogue. I've been traveling around, being random, being spontaneous, being random. And so what if I have to wear a dirty shirt? That's the price you pay to be an adventurous bitch. This is my vibe right now. My vibe is like, I live out of my suitcase. That's my fucking vibe right now. So this like disgusting white tank top that like feels damp and has felt damp for the past like three or so days. This shirt matches my traveling vibe. But it, I swear to God, it doesn't smell bad. It actually like weirdly smells good. Which could be one of two things. It could be that I'm immune to the bad smell or it could mean that I just have been reapplying deodorant responsibly. I don't know. It's crazy like what you can do in a hotel fridge. I have leftover coffee here. I'm in the process of making overnight oats. Infinite fruit selection, pineapple, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry, hummus, 
random carrot thing. I don't even know what this is actually. I found it at the grocery store. Absolutely no idea what this is. I can't read the ingredients because I don't know how to read French. I have so much great shit in here. Everything about how I just made this coffee was so like genuinely fucked up. In the morning, I usually order an extra coffee so that, you know, I can just go in the fridge, get my coffee that I got earlier, and then make my own situation. Is that a little bit overkill? Yes, but I think that I just genuinely enjoy. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, like I haven't washed my hair. Oh, it's obvious. I don't smell though, like I don't, I, like so it, all I'm saying is, yes, I need a shower, but it's not like I smell. That's when I draw the line. That's when I'm like, Emma, it's, you can't be doing this. <laughs> but I don't smell, I'm just dirty. It, there's a difference. Tomorrow's the show. Fashion week for me is very different than fashion week for some because some people go to fashion week and they go to like 10 different fashion shows. I only go to one and I get very tired after one. I'm happy just going to one show. I love it. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. Let's be honest here, I just don't have anything to say. Like I'm tired. Mm -hmm.